Hi, this is Steve Paget. Let's talk rheumatology. So the ACR meeting is coming up in San Francisco. We're all looking forward to that. Uh, I, and I'm sure you, love that environment. It's like an eight-ring circus, but we come back knowing so many new things. So I've looked over all the abstracts in the abstract book. There are over 2,100 of them, and there's some really impressive things there that I'd like to just bring to your attention. First, an overall point of view, vitamin D. We should all be doing 25-hydroxy vitamin D in our patients with inflammatory joint diseases, systemic diseases. It's amazing how many people are vitamin deficient. And also the role of vitamin D in the immune system and musculoskeletal health is so important that replacing vitamin D is a key part of our care. In rheumatoid arthritis, an amazing amount of new information about biologic agents, lots of them available, new anti-TNFs, uh, and it really improves and expands our armamentarium. How they'll all fit into our future care of patients remains to be seen. Lots of information on TH17 and IL-17 and how that will come along with regard to therapies that will include that biologic information is really difficult to say. More sc small molecules, which is great because they be can be given orally, related to JAK and MEK and other types of transcription factors. Whether there'll be a safety profile that's reasonable on those, we'll have to see. There is more information about the positive and ameliorative effects upon atherosclerosis in RA patients with both methotrexate and anti-TNF therapies. There are some abstracts that relate to malignancies in anti-TNF therapies, with some showing an increased incidence and some not. So we all think about these and our patients ask us about these, and so that information will be key. In systemic lupus erythematosus, there also are a broad range of new opportunities therapeutically uh, including uh, anti-TNF medications, actually, as well as B-cell therapies, and even some follow-up information on CellCept and the role of it in patients with systemic lupus, both arthritis and also renal disease. With regard to gout, the possibility of pegylated uricase uh, showing some effectiveness, and there are some nice trials that will be present at the meeting. It's interesting, though, that just as with allopurinol, peguricase causes flares, at least initially, after treatment is started. And having had just the uh, mother of all gouty attacks, I can understand why, so, why some patients may not actually want to have gouty attacks brought on by a medication. So it's important for us to tell our patients about the good future, even with the possibility of flares. Spondyloarthropathies, lots of new information about new therapies, including biologic agents. But uh, disturbingly, they still show this partition between clinical help and improvement in the radiologic changes. But maybe we can all ask some good questions at the meeting uh, so that we can get some important answers. Osteoarthritis, lots of new information coming out of epidemiological studies but most of the information is clinical and epidemiologic and not a whole lot of new information on osteoarthritis therapy. And finally, scleroderma. Interesting new data on transplants, lung transplants, stem cell transplants, and also the use of Gleevec, that drug that's used for chronic myelogenous leukemia. So safe travels to the ACR meeting. I hope to see you there and we'll look at all of these wonderful new possibilities and more. Thanks for joining me today.